There have been many videos with planes frozen in the air, but this video with a plane over a bridge is the most impressive and raises most of questions. Welcome again to Hoverplane Analyst. Here strange videos are checked and analyzed. The original clip is just less than 6 seconds short and the author has added two slow motion versions so he could upload at least 39 seconds. The author suspects an illusion due to speed and wind. He could not explain it exactly. But his companion, who actually discovered the plane, could not remember it later, so he calls it Glitch in the Matrix. Thanks to X-Team from France for conceding Google coordinates from this bridge. It is near Seattle in the northwestern United States. The plane has deployed the landing gear and may be going to land or just take off and very close by is the Seattle International Airport and also a runway from a Boeing company site. These are the corresponding positions in the video clip and in Google Maps before and after the bridge. I guess the car covered about 120 meters or 400 feet in those 5 seconds. And that translates into a speed of about 86 km an hour, which is 54 miles per hour. Maybe it was faster, but as I said in this rough estimate, everything is possible from 70 to 110 km an hour or 45 to 70 miles per hour. By the time when you see the plane out of the car for the first time, it may be about 70 meters or 230 feet away. This is how we imagine it. At the red dot is the lamppost, view from in front of the bridge, and then the car passes under the bridge, we look back and we can see again the plane that is still in the same place. At first glance, one might think the plane is sticking to the lamppost, Fro but from the other side of the bridge, it's a bit off the lantern. The question is, does the plane really fly so low that it can scratch right on the lamppost? And is it just 10 meters or 33 feet above a public road? So, how tall can a lamppost be? In the city perhaps 3 to 6 meters or 10 to 20 feet, but there they are much denser and are not necessarily bent over the street. In any case, a truck with about 4 meters height, 13 feet, must be able to drive through it well. Such a mast should be 10 meter or 33 feet high. I have read there are also some ones 12 meter or 40 feet high. If the lamppost is, is about 10 meter or 33 feet high, then the plane would have to be 10 meter or 33 feet long. Could that be possible? Unfortunately, I do not know much about such aircrafts. I can only see that it is a twin engine aircraft. That could be an A320, for example, and you can fa find all the technical data in Wikipedia, especially the length. Of course, this could just as well be an A330 or A350 or even a Boeing 737. The other machines are 3 or 4 engine. I have combined in a list the possible lengths. The first two types vary between 29 and 45 meters. As a mean value, I take now just 35 meters. And only if it is an Airbus A330 or 350, there would be a huge error, because they would be 70 meters long. In feet, the first two types are 94 to 146 feet. The mean value may be some 120 feet, and an Airbus A330 and 350 are some 220 feet long. So, a 35 meter long plane that looks exactly like a 10 meter high street lamp. This is a 120 feet long plane looking like a 33 feet lamp. 
it would have to stop in the mid-air and shrink at the same time. That would really be too much now. That's what the plane should look like, but it does not. If, if I aim the camera at the bridge and the plane is too small, it must be further away. It has to be so far away that it is in the correct size proportions within my normal camera aperture angle of 50 degrees. And as it is three and a half times too small, it must now be three and a half times further away. That looks like this. And after the car has passed under the bridge, the same situation again. Again, the plane must be three and a half times further away. And if we look at these two pictures together, then while the car has passed under the bridge, the plane has flown about two and a half times that distance. It's the same principle and the same effect that I described in my first video, Planes Stopping in Midair, The Truth About It, and that I will describe in another video, Principle of Planes Stopping in Midair. While the car is moving and the camera is constantly panning for the plane, there is a fixed point between the car and the plane. In our example video, this would now be the lamppost on the bridge and the angular movement of the camera will cause every single point of the camera image which lies behind this fixed point to change its apparent movement. With a suitable distance of the plane, this change is such that the two movements, namely the forward flight of the plane and the angular rotation of the camera, cancel each other out. The peculiarity in this video is that the aircraft is not visible while driving under the bridge and these lines of sight are just not visible, but the effect takes place both in front of the bridge and after the bridge. The conditions for this parallax effect are always the following. From the car an oncoming plane is filmed. This means the camera is moved in the car, the camera is turned to the plane and the plane flies in the opposite direction. At the beginning I estimated the speed of the car to be about 86 km per hour or 54 miles per hour. From this we can now estimate the speed of the aircraft. Because it is 3.5 times as far away as the street lamp, which is the fixed point, it is 2.5 times as far from the fixed point as the car, and it has to fly 2.5 times as fast. This results in 216 km per hour or 136 miles per hour. This is of course an estimate with multiple sources of error. The type of the aircraft was appreciated. If the aircraft is 40 or 50 meters long, then it would have to fly faster. Result of my analysis. The aircraft does not stop in the middle of the air, but only appears in the camera image to be standing over the bridge. In reality, the aircraft flies at a speed of about 216 km per hour or 136 miles per hour. So, with an adequate speed for a just launched or landing aircraft. So the plane could just be landing on the runway from the Boeing company site or make a turn to land on the international airport. If you like this video, do not forget to click on the thumb up. There are some more videos of this kind in my channel and I'm going to make another video of this parallax effect, principle of stopping planes in mid-air, so I can better explain this somewhat complicated story to everyone. Until then, I wish you all the best and I say goodbye.